Aquarius, hey y'all, how y'all doing? Welcome back to your Southern Intuition. This is going to be a past, present, and future reading for you. I'll take a look into what your challenge is and what's coming at the bottom of the deck that you don't see. Keep in mind, I do believe that everything connects eventually, and if it is your message to hear, Aquarius, you will do so. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. One more. Okay, so <clears throat> your challenge is the Page of Swords. This is some sort of news, communication that's coming through. And in the recent past, you have the Four of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. I just feel like you want to take a break from life. Um, it was like you had so much going on. All these different ideals. All these different thoughts. You, you seem to be very confused. When it comes to what gave you a sense of stability. What stability even was. If you wanted commitment. Maybe. And you really kind of had to step back. And take a break. From that. Now, in the current moment, you have the Nine of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Star. There's something here that you want. It's a, it's a desire. There's, there's this person that shows up for you, this Queen of Wands energy. And it's like, I'm going to try again. I'm, I'm going to try again. This is what I want, so I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to try again. That's what I'm getting. Now, in the immediate future, you have the Six of Pentacles, the Strength, and the Eight of Wands. Okay, so trying to find a strength within yourself to make something work. And you're communicating it. You're like, hey, I want to work things out here. How can we make it happen? And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Magician, which is a beautiful energy. He brings a sense of stability with him and news of a sense of independence and it's all you king of swords energy aquarius it's beautiful it's really good this is a, a good reading let's get into why this communication is so challenging the page of swords is a message a messenger there's something about it here that's not cool let's see page of swords Five of Pentacles, the Tower, and the World. Ten of Cups. So this is obviously some sort of structure, got something to do with your feelings and how you feel about something. Your challenge being this uh, this page here is this news that you're receiving is something that you've been afraid of. You've been scared to hear it. You've been scared to think it, talk about it, whatever. You, you thought that it was going to make everything fall apart and bring an end to everything else. Whenever this news actually came through, when this message came through, that it's showing that there was a fear. A fear that everything would just fall on its ass and, and come to an end. I, I don't know what it's about, but it's definitely something that's challenging you in this time. Now, let's see in the recent past, and maybe that's why you just thought, I just got to take a break from life in general. I just got to take a break. You have the Ace of Wands. The Three of Wands. And 
the Queen of Cups. Yeah, so there was obviously an energy that you was desiring that you didn't really want to let go of, but you waited. You waited to make a move. You waited to make an offer because if you go back to your challenge here, you were afraid that if you did that, it would make everything else fall apart. Hmm. But in the current moment, you're like, oh, I want to try again. Let's see what's going on. Like, I want to try again. Judgment shows up. This is a whole new world for you. Two of Swords. Queen of Wands energy again. Four of Swords. Huh. So you obviously have an opportunity. This is like an aha moment that you're getting. And it's to do with this person, this Queen of Wands, and what you want. And you're trying to ignore it. You're like, no, I want to try. And then you get this epiphany about it. And then you're like, no, no, is, is that the choice that I make? Is that the choice that I do? And you're still like you want to, but mm, you're still saying what to do, what to do. That's where you're at. You're going back to, oh, I should wait. I should wait a little longer, but the news is here, you know, what you was afraid of is finally here. It's finally showing itself. Let's see what the news is that's coming. The eight of wands, there you are. There, boom, boom. What you are manifesting here, Aquarius. There you are, king of swords energy who showed up. You're showing up here in the immediate future. Four of swords and the page of cups. There's no stopping you now. Queen of Pentacles energy. Maybe it's a sense of self-love that's helping you reach this um, determination. Because I think that you finally are making a decision that you've given something enough time. And you want to speak. You want to speak. Obviously. That is what I'm seeing for you. So let's get you some advice from the... Hush Tarot. Let's just get you one card and get you some advice. What do you have for Aquarius? What do you have for Aquarius? Oh. And that Queen of Pentacles energy, that same energy. That's the energy that you got. As well as Temperance, which is just about going with the flow. Let's read what this Queen of Pentacles is about. So this is about a sense of practicality and sensitivity. Beauty surrounds you here at this time, and the light that you generate is illuminating the weeds of past lessons. The same light also brings forth the joys of the present, represented by the playful sparrows and the cunning falcon. So you are embarking on a situation that is really clearly for you and it's bringing you a sense of happiness. The cards want you to know that if you feel overburdened over past failures of where you couldn't find a clear path of what you couldn't accomplish and it was creating all sorts of stress for you Know that you have the inner light here to push you through. And just go with the flow, Aquarius. So, that's what I have for you. And as always, good luck with that.